Hi guys and welcome yet to another video on SEPA channel. Today we will have a little review of a DC motor speed controller which can withstand up to 80 watts of power. It can go from 6 volts up to 28 volts and it's rated as being able to manage 3 amps. We will see about that. Anyway, it was £2.33 from Temu and we will review it right now. On the package itself, we have the model name, the brand name, the product name, which is a circuit module. Well, this is how it came packaged. We will just see what's the contents of the package. So we have the model itself and we have this piece of paper with instructions. So it says DC motor speed regulator controls the speed of a DC motor by adjusting the pulse white modulated vector basically. So it's rated 6 volts, 28 volts at 3 amps. This is basically what it says to connect. It says connect the wires refer to the wiring diagram. I can't see any wiring diagram. I don't think there is any. Anyway, this is the module itself. I guess we will figure it out how to connect it. Let's open it and see. Usually this kind of packaging has a place where to rip it and I can't see it in here therefore let me bring the tools from the box and we have some stuff in here so this is basically the polarity switch it's backward uh, forward and backwards this thing here it's technically some sort of system that you can use to put it inside of a box let's see here it says so this system here it's something that you can use to mount it on a box and this you can use to be able to control it easier this is a heat sink here we have a capacitor as well and let's see we have power minus plus motor plus and minus so let's start by adding power i would need a little screw driver so we have a little screwdriver here let's add power to the module first I you can guys you can see here so it was the very first oh this is actually the motor and let's do that then I have a motor here here it doesn't it says motor minus so we'll put the minus in here it might not be the perfect connection but ignore that because this is just for testing purposes so Hopefully everything won't, it will be okay, it won't touch. Let me put them. This is the motor that we will use to test it. And now we need power. With the power we need to be a little bit more careful because here it should actually should be correct way around. If the motor it doesn't necessarily uh, matter and I'm saying that just because if you put it, you will inverse the polarity anyway so it doesn't matter so let's see it's power minus and it's exactly at edge power supply here and this one because it's actually the plus i will make sure that it doesn't touch anything i'm not sure if this module was whoever soldered it i don't know if you guys see but it's a bit offset anyway so let's test it we will put the power in currently it's on one we will test it as it is so on so you can see it works and it's it can actually be controlled i'm not sure if you can guys see exactly but i'm actually <laughs> using one one hand to keep both of them okay and you can actually go quite fast this source it's actually 12 volts it, what is nice actually is it actually can put on and off at one point it just stops i'm not sure exactly why this is happening okay so this was our test as you can see the module is turned off right now i'm not sure how long it will last but 
I guess we will see. What I want to do as well is to measure this voltage with voltmeter. 20 volts. So in standby, when there shouldn't actually be any current, as you can see, there is 0 0.27. Let's turn it on and let's see. So it's 322. Anyway, so now let's inverse the polarity. It should go the other way around. And for some reason it doesn't. Oh no, it does. Nope. For some reason it doesn't. And what will happen here? Nothing happens on one. So not sure what's oh, okay, fair enough. So um I don't know where that why that LED is flashing. Again, guys, we will do another test because I have a feeling that this DC motor is fried now. It does smell like it. So this is the module and it's on one. Basically that means that the voltage it should be uh, positive. At the moment it says 0 0.26 so when this is basically off we have 0 .0 0 0.25 26 volts coming through. So let's see turn it it on and it jumps to 250 and if we slowly go forward it goes to up to 12.33, which is the full power supply voltage. Now, let's see what happens if I press on zero. So it will go on zero, actually. And if I go on two, that, that shows as a minus, meaning that it is actually reversing polarity, which means that the electric motor will go backwards. So the test, as you see, the module works fine. Uh, the bad news is that our DC motor was fried within a few seconds. Well, we won't cry about it, we promise. Thank you for watching, guys. Please like, share if you have friends which you think they might like this kind of content. And like the video because this is something that will support us. Thank you for watching and see you next time.